Hello friends, welcome back. Today we're gonna to be doing another Christmas DIY. So this could actually be used any time of the year for any holiday, but my idea was to make these for my Christmas decor. So I thought I would show you how I'm going to make them. So what you're gonna need is first mix up some classic salt dough. I will have the recipe in the description box below, of course, but it's very simple. It's just two cups of flour, one cup of salt. I give that a quick mix, and then I'm gonna add one cup of or water to that and mix it up, uh, form it into a dough, and then I'm just gonna set it aside. Then I'm gonna grab some kitchen foil, it doesn't matter what brand, and start shaping myself antlers out of this foil. So I would say get the basic shape down. Um, I'm probably gonna continue to experiment with this because I do have some salt dough left over, but you do want the base of the antler a little bit wider so that's why I'm, I kind of folded it over. I wanted to fold it over to get it to the length, the overall length of the antler that I wanted. And then if you need more thickness to an area, just add more foil, start forming on there. Um, I'm pounding that end down because the bottom of the antler is flat. Um, and then I'm just gonna use it to create horns that I can attach with more foil. So the only thing that I would say, um, because my first antler was really big, um, probably bigger than I wanted it to be, it was just really beefy. <laughs> um, but I did grab a Hobby Lobby antler that I had, and you could Google a picture of one as well, just for something to kind of go off of. Um, but then, yeah, just start shaping different size sizes of horns that you want to attach to that main branch or that main antler branch. And they are just a little bit wider, kind of where the, the horns kind of form, where they connect on that main antler. They're just a little bit wider. Um, and you'll see that if you have another one to look at or if you've Googled a picture of one. So my first antler, I did use tape with it to kind of hold everything. On my second one, I didn't use tape. I just used foil by itself. So if you really wanted this really sturdy, you could put like a wire of some sort inside. Um, but yeah, I just thinly formed that salt dough over the top of my um, form, I guess, and baked it in a 200 degree oven. I'm not happy with how that first one turned out, but my second one I'm really happy with, and that was, it didn't have the tape on it, but it was just the foil. So um, I baked those in a 200 degree oven for about four hours. And then I'm just gonna paint them. These are the paint colors that I used. You could use any colors you think would look best. Um, but yeah, I, I'm i not gonna just full on paint these. I am um, I've kind of chose my colors and then I set them aside. I do mix them with water though. Um, but before you start painting, Antlers are like, um, they have like these little ridges and bumps, I don't know what to call them, at the base of the antler where it connects to the deer's head. So I'm just going to use hot glue and kind of create little bumps and little streaks to where it looks similar to what an antler might look like. Then once I get that all done, then I'm going to start painting. So again, the base of the antler, see now, notice how watery that paint is. It's because I'm dipping my brush into the paint colors, the mix that I want, and then I'm dipping it in the water because um, I'm just kind of whitewashing this antler. I'm not just full on painting it. I am putting a darker color at the base where it would connect to the deer's head and then I'm kind of whitewashing it as I go up and adding some of that white and the lighter brown colors. Um, 
but yeah you can choose what colors you think would look best so you see that I, I mixed a little bit of white in there and then I I got the paint on my brush and then I dipped it in the water so it's really watered down um, so keep in mind this is salt dough so it's gonna soak up a lot of that paint and that color so it's it's not gonna stay that vibrant but this is how it looks when it's done um, the last thing I did was I dry brushed with a very dry brush a little bit of white and kind of just dusted it um, just dry brushed a little bit of white over the top of the whole thing um, I didn't put any at the base though just the top of the the antlers so kind of gives it more of a bone look at least to me it did you know you guys paint how you feel looks best but I'm happy with how that looks I did let them dry overnight I didn't want to put them back in the oven because of the hot glue but I let them air dry and then I'm gonna spray them with a little bit of varnish both sides um, it's probably not a necessary step, but in my mind, I thought that I needed to, so that's your choice. This is how they turned out. I love them. Like I said, I'm going to be experimenting more. So anyway, hope you guys like it, and I hope you're having a great day. Bye-bye.